the Middle East, a region steeped in history, culture, and unearthly phenomena? What if I told you a series of unexplained events were unfolding in the heart of this land, sending shivers down the spines of even the most skeptical minds? But what's really going on? Is it a natural phenomenon, a technological marvel, or something more? Stay tuned to find out. In a surprising twist, Israeli officials have expressed concern about an ancient prophecy shared across Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and Zoroastrianism. This prophecy predicts the arrival of a significant leader known as the Messiah, and Israel's role in it has stirred anticipation. However, debates among religious scholars have intensified, adding complexity to the discussion. Let's explore the story. In the Old Testament, a man named Abram, aged 75, responded to God's call. Along with his wife Sarah and nephew Lot, he set out for the promised land, Canaan. This land was already home to tribes like the Hittites and Amorites, each with its own culture and beliefs. Abram's interactions with the Canaanites were complicated. But despite challenges, he and his family established themselves in Canaan. The significance of Israel's land is immense. Throughout history, it has played a crucial role for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Around 1000 BC, the Israelite tribes united under King Saul. Successive rulers like King David and King Solomon made Jerusalem the capital and built the first temple on the Temple Mount. However, the kingdom later split with the Assyrians capturing the northern kingdom in 722 BC and the Babylonians conquering the southern kingdom of Judah in 586 BC. The destruction of the first temple marked a significant turning point. After the Persians defeated the Babylonians, Jewish exiles were permitted to return and rebuild their temple, marking the start of the second temple period. In the first century AD, Christianity emerged in the region with Jesus of Nazareth. Unfortunately, in 70 AD, the Romans destroyed the Second Temple during the Jewish-Roman War. This historical journey illustrates the complexities and significance of Israel's land, interwoven with the rise and fall of civilizations and the spiritual narratives of multiple religions. Throughout the centuries, the land of Israel has been a melting pot of diverse cultures and civilizations. Various empires, such as the Assyrians, Babylonians, and ancient Israelites, left their mark on this special place. It became a hub for farming, trade, and the convergence of different belief systems. Around 1000 BC, under King Saul, the Israelite tribes united to form a kingdom. King David and King Solomon solidified Jerusalem's status as the capital and built the first temple on the Temple Mount, fostering a covenant between God and the Jewish people. However, this unity was short-lived as the kingdom later split into the northern and southern kingdoms. The Assyrians captured the northern kingdom in 722 BC, leading to the dispersion of the Ten Tribes. The Babylonians followed suit, conquering the southern kingdom of Judah in 586 BC. This event marked a period of exile for many Judeans and the destruction of the first temple, a devastating blow to the spiritual and cultural heart of the Jewish people. Amidst the challenges, the Persians defeated the Babylonians, allowing Jewish exiles to return and rebuild their temple, initiating the second temple period. This period witnessed significant developments, including the emergence of Christianity in the first century AD with Jesus of Nazareth. However, the Roman conquest in 70 AD resulted in the destruction of the Second Temple, symbolizing another chapter of upheaval. The history of ancient Israel, along with its religious texts and archaeological findings, has greatly influenced the cultural, religious, and historical identity of the Jewish people. This impact extends beyond local boundaries, shaping the entire world. In the 1920s and 1930s, many Jews sought refuge in Palestine to escape anti-Semitism and persecution in Europe. This movement, known as Aliyah, 
brought about significant changes in the region's demographics. During Aliyah, Jewish immigrants purchased land from Arab landowners and established kibbutzim and moshevim, which are self-sufficient Jewish communities. These initiatives aimed at fostering the development of Jewish infrastructure and institutions. However, this raised concerns among the Arab population. Arab leaders and communities feared losing their land, political rights, and national identity due to the influx of Jewish immigrants. This fear led to clashes between Jewish and Arab communities, fueled by conflicting goals in the region. The turning point came on May 14, 1948, when David Ben-Gurion, leader of the Jewish Agency and future Prime Minister of Israel, announced the Israeli Declaration of Independence. This marked the official establishment of the State of Israel. Ben-Gurion emphasized the deep connection between the Jewish people and the land of Palestine, highlighting the need for a homeland where Jews could live freely and securely. The Declaration acknowledged the challenges faced by Jews, particularly during the Holocaust, making the establishment of the Jewish state a compelling necessity. It also expressed gratitude for international support, referencing a United Nations resolution from November 29, 1947. Returning to the ancient world, around the 4th millennium BC, imagine uncovering the earliest traces of Jerusalem in the Middle East's dry landscapes. Its ancient name, Ralim, can be found in Egyptian texts dating back to the 19th century BC. Throughout the ages, Jerusalem witnessed the influences of various powers, including Canaanites, Jebusites, and Israelites, leaving their marks. In the 10th century BC, King David played a pivotal role by capturing Jerusalem from the Jebusites, making it the capital of the United Kingdom of Israel. Under King Solomon's rule, Jerusalem thrived with impressive structures, especially the first temple, highlighting the city's spiritual and political significance. Beyond Judaism, Jerusalem is crucial for Christianity and Islam, making it a profoundly religious city for all three faiths. For Judaism, Jerusalem holds the highest importance as the holiest city, closely linked to the history and religious identity of the Jewish people. According to Jewish tradition, it's considered the place where God chose to reveal His presence on earth. In Judaism, Jerusalem is considered the holiest city, deeply ingrained in the religious and historical identity of the Jewish people. According to Jewish tradition, it's where God chose to reveal divine presence on earth. The Western Wall, also known as the Wailing Wall, symbolizes the sacred bond between Jews, God, and their ancestors. Here, Jews gather to pray, expressing their strong connection to God and the past. The Temple Mount, believed to be the site of the first and second Jewish temples, holds immense importance for worship and pilgrimage. Christianity also holds Jerusalem in high regard, linking it profoundly to the life and ministry of Jesus Christ as documented in the New Testament. Key events like Jesus' life, crucifixion, and resurrection are closely tied to the city. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre in the Old City is considered the site of these significant events, making it a crucial pilgrimage site for Christians worldwide. The Via Dolorosa, tracing Jesus' route while carrying the cross and the Mount of Olives, where believers think Jesus ascended to heaven, are prominent Christian landmarks in Jerusalem. In Islam, Jerusalem is the third holiest city following Mecca and Medina. Its religious significance stems from the association with the Prophet Muhammad's miraculous journey from Mecca to Jerusalem, culminating in his ascent to heaven from the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the Temple Mount. The Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, both significant in Islam, emphasize Jerusalem's profound importance. Beyond religious rituals, Jerusalem's significance is intertwined with history and geopolitics. This ancient city, a melting pot of diverse faiths, has left a lasting impact on the historical and geopolitical landscape. Throughout history, 
Jerusalem has been a focal point for religious devotion, conflict, and aspirations for sovereignty. The intricate nature of overlapping religious and historical claims has led to tensions and disagreements among diverse groups. Jerusalem has witnessed the rise and fall of empires and civilizations, from the ancient Israelites and Canaanites to the Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, Crusaders, and Ottomans. It became a sought-after prize for conquerors and a vibrant hub for religious and cultural exchange. In the present day, Jerusalem remains a city divided along religious and political lines. The old city reflects the coexistence of various faiths within limited space, featuring majestic holy sites and intricate labyrinthine streets. Taking a historical journey back to the 8th century BC, King Hezekiah initiated an impressive project, the construction of the Siloam Pool. This ancient water source played a vital role in ensuring a constant water supply during times of war. King Hezekiah's engineers carved a path through solid rock, creating the Siloam Pool approximately 20 feet from the Gihon Spring. Measuring 53 feet in length, 18 feet in width, and 19 feet in depth, this pool became a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The Siloam Pool not only served practical purposes but also showcased the remarkable engineering feats of ancient times. Unfortunately, the Babylonian attack on Jerusalem led to the destruction of the Pool of Siloam during Nehemiah's time. It took many years to rebuild the city walls and the pool, marking a resilient comeback from the echoes of destruction. During the reign of Herod the Great, the Pool of Siloam underwent further reconstruction and expansion, becoming a gathering place for the impoverished and sick-seeking healing through its refreshing waters. The Pool of Siloam held significance during the Feast of Tabernacles, a joyous occasion deeply rooted in biblical instructions. This feast commemorates the Israelites' liberation from Egypt, with the pool's water playing a vital role in ceremonial rituals due to its proximity to the temple. In the Bible, there's a story about Solomon's temple, a grand building by King Solomon on the special temple mount in Jerusalem. It was built to honor God from the 10th to the 6th centuries BC, but was destroyed during the Babylonian siege of Jerusalem under King Nebuchadnezzar. Later on, there was Herod's temple, another tribute to faith. This impressive building stood for over 580 years until the Romans came. After the second temple was gone, the Jewish people aspired to build a third, even more magnificent and long-lasting temple. Building the third temple faced challenges, especially from Islamic nations, as Jerusalem is shared with Palestine. The city is split, with West Jerusalem as Israel's capital and East Jerusalem as Palestine's, marked by the Dome of the Rock on the Temple Mount. Constructing temples involves adhering to zoning and regulatory rules, requiring close collaboration with local authorities for legal approval. Designing the temple is a delicate balance between tradition and creating structures that reflect the cultural and religious beliefs of the community. This involves consulting with religious leaders and gathering their input. Finances pose a significant challenge as temples rely on donations. Fundraising becomes crucial, involving engagement with people, businesses, and organizations willing to support the sacred project. Endurance is a key consideration, as engineers must design a temple capable of handling challenges like earthquakes, extreme weather, and regular wear and tear. Collaboration between architects and engineers ensures the temple's longevity. The Sanhedrin, a crucial part of the temple project, recreates the ancient environment by growing farms and forests. However, debates on the Sanhedrin's authority and concerns about possible environmental impacts add complexity to the temple's revival. Rebuilding the third temple faces a unique challenge, finding a flawless red heifer. This special animal plays a crucial role in purifying Jews for temple services. The symbolism associated with the red heifer is profound, representing purity and the removal of impurities. 
The ashes were believed to possess purifying qualities, emphasizing the spiritual significance of cleanliness and holiness in approaching sacred spaces and rituals. The red heifer's role in purification, rituals aligns with broader themes of ritual cleanliness and sanctity found throughout the Old Testament. The requirement for a flawless red heifer is considered a crucial element in the preparations for the future temple. Breeding a red heifer is no simple feat, requiring the animal to be born in Israel, free from any physical imperfections or flaws. It must not have been used for any work, especially plowing, as it needs to remain untouched and solely dedicated to temple rituals. Achieving a red heifer is just one requirement for rebuilding the temple, indicating there are more challenges ahead. Another crucial aspect of preparing for the third temple involves training the Kohanim, a special group of priests led by the Sanhedrin and the temple movement. These priests undergo rigorous training to understand the proper actions, mannerisms, and equipment usage necessary for the new temple. Looking beyond the religious aspects of the temple project, the geopolitical landscape around Jerusalem is crucial. The city, which is home to the temple, has been a focal point in international discussions for a long time. The construction of a new temple has the potential to impact relationships between countries, especially Israel and its neighbors. There's concern that extremist groups might take advantage of this development, contributing to regional instability. Another vital element in this elaborate process is the construction of the new altar, a necessary component for offering sacrifices in the temple. This construction must take place at the original site, the revered Temple Mount. The altar's design is strategic, allowing for easy dismantling and reassembly in another location until it finds its permanent position. This flexibility emphasizes the adaptability required in the meticulous planning for the third temple. Crafting the altar involves intricate steps and adherence to specific religious guidelines. The meticulous efforts put into the altar's design and construction highlight the reverence and dedication with which the Jewish community approaches the restoration of the temple. This dedication extends beyond the altar to the careful breeding of the red heifer, a sacred animal free from imperfections that holds significance in the purification process. The coordination between training Kohanim and crafting the altar underscores the complexity and dedication invested in the comprehensive plan to build the third temple. The determination of the Jewish community to overcome challenges is rooted in historical obstacles with the Temple Mount currently under Muslim control, imposing restrictions on Jewish entry and worship. This difficulty has prompted extraordinary efforts to create a sacred space for Jewish worship, and for Orthodox Jews, reconstructing the temple is seen as the primary solution. However, the obstacle of Muslim control over the Temple Mount is significant, requiring political action and exploring alternative approaches. Recognizing the deadlock, international organizations and states outside Israel may mediate a solution. Collaboration among leaders of different faiths becomes crucial in navigating the complexities of the temple project. This collective effort is essential for realizing the reconstruction of the temple. While legal measures may fall short, securing funds for the ambitious project becomes a formidable challenge. Community-driven temple construction heavily relies on donations. Requiring extensive fundraising efforts and effective communication strategies to convey the project's importance and encourage generous contributions. Traditional construction practices face hurdles in today's industry, with many temples adhering to age-old building methods and materials, demanding the location and sourcing of specific stones or wood. Working with craftsmen skilled in traditional materials becomes a challenge, requiring a delicate balance between cultural preservation and modern construction standards. Preserving cultural heritage while ensuring structural integrity becomes a paramount concern. Temples, more than structures of worship, are enduring symbols of faith and culture. So there you have it, 
Share your theories in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the mystery, and subscribe for more mind-blowing content.